Welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a look at the beta of Toy Tinker Simulator. So you, you have those toys, those childhood favorite toys. They get damaged, they get worn out. But, you know, you don't want to throw them away, but they just get put in a box somewhere. So, someone's got to come in and show them some love. And that's where we come into it. We're going to fix them up. And, uh... Sell them for a hefty profit. What? What was that? Hmm? We fix toys to uh, put smiles on kids' faces. Yes. And then a little buck on the way. But uh, let's jump in. You know what? We're going to skip the tutorial. Mainly because uh, it's, it's not because uh, we're being a rebel. It's because I've already given it a go. So I know roughly what we're doing. <laughs> Right then, I don't know what kind of toy workshop we're running here, but uh, 95 grand? Dude, invest in some crypto or something, don't bother with the, the toys. Okay, so we need to take on a new project. We're not a high enough level for anything else. We got a nice, nice beginner toy yet. What's required? Some chisels. And a cleaner. As expected. And we gotta buy the original parts for 20. Possible income 120. Okay. Let's go to the market and get me chisel. Okay, we're already down 25 and we're getting 120. But... We're down 475. This is a 120 coin repair job. Long term investments, lads. Long term investments. Where's the toy? Did I forget to accept it? Here we go. Alright, here's our toy. We need to pop this bad boy off. And uh, pop these wheels off. Whoop. Get that other wheel off, you know. Little uh, flick of the wrist. Oh, right. Let's uh, put you to one side now. Um, we got two wheels that are already clean. These are probably the two wheels we bought. Um, let's throw you off. We don't need you right now. Pop that wheel off. Give our little wash. Uh, send you to the washer. Alright, what we got here? We got another wheel. With the music, it's actually quite a relaxing game, to be honest with you. And boom, everything is in the washer. Okay, so now that we sent everything to the cleaner, let's hop over here. Let's uh, turn on our fly zapper. Bang, and the dirt is gone. We're 50% there. Now we hop on back. And we build. Pop all these wheels on. And uh, slap you on there, slap you on there. Done. Take, take a nice picture of our new state-of-the-art train. You know? What happens after this, guys? We flog it. We cash out. We say 18th century unique train. Won't see another one. Last of its kind. Brand new condition. Never before touched. <laughs> Got its original wheels, a thousand pounds. But sadly, it doesn't work that way. We're an ethical toy maker. Uh, we send it back to them. We don't pretend that we never received it. <laughs> 
Right. What do we need for you, my friend? A detergent and a sponge. And 10 coins for a replacement. Um, equipment, cleaners, three for the sponge, that's more like it, ten for the detergent, that's more like it, not 450 for an ultrasonic cleaner that we probably could have done with a sponge and soap, right, let's, let's take this, what have we got here, pop the wheels off I guess, oh, these are just pull-off wheels. That uh, makes our life a bit easier. Yank these up. Oh, yank the bathtub off top. Got the... Uh... Is that everything now? So this time round... We're actually just going to the sink and giving it an old scrub. In the uh, tap on. Da -da -da. Scrub it up, dub. Wait, it's green. Scrub it up, dub. Scrub it up, dub. What cut? Hey, so you're yellow. Makes sense. Wasn't expecting a green truck. Scrub it up, dub. Give us a little bit of a clean. Wait, the body was green and I'm not just imagining it. it was green, right? It was green. Pop a wheels on this bad boy. Pop a front on. Pop that. Done. Take a picture of our brand new clean toy. Bit of elbow grease lads, that's all you need. Can't go wrong with a bit of elbow grease. What should we, what should we, should we? You know what? This one kind of looks fancy. We need detergent and a sponge. We need some varnish. And we need a printer and a sand imp. Oof, I have to take our loan for this one, boys. Only getting one thirty in return. Right. Bio sponge. Bio detergent. Uh varnish. Varnish. Nope. Oh. And an eight hundred pound printer. And a 400 pound sanding block for a 100 pound repair. Quite the businessman, if I uh, say so myself. Hey, what we got here? Oh, it's got a little dog. Doggy. Uh, oh, it's got little chicks. Right, let's let's uh, yank this fence off. Comes a comes apart uh, quite easily actually it's just little pegs you yank out that's why there's no chisel or anything involved I guess clean in what one needs a good wash everything apparently right so if I we come here and we wash these or can I not do anything else while we well, zappers on. No. Okay. Uh, what needs a sand in the fence? Give the fence a quick scrub. Don't want to get any splinters on this bad boy. Ready to be painted. And uh, get elbow grease on this. Uh, comes out quite nicely, if I say so myself. The house a quick scrub. Hey, where's my printer? What are we doing over here? Just a little button. Hey, it's stickers. Okay, that was kind of cool. 
That was actually kind of cool. Oh, do we need more stickers on this one? No? Okay, what have we got now? We gotta paint our fence. So the the tools are very simple. It's not um doesn't look like they're in depth um like procedures so like um activities. You you're not individually going with your mouse like going across the fence painting strokes on it with the stickers you don't have to um like line them up or anything so in terms of that it's quite a straightforward game um so the beta is actually 10 toys on the beta so i don't know how, the, how many the full versions behind it but i think we did a nice job with this one that's Looking as good as new. Not a fan of the stickers. I would have kept the original look over the stickers. But let's get this toy back to one happy owner. I think... We're not high enough level to look at any of the later ones, but the later ones might not even be in this game. As I said, they were only 10. Um, we received the badge for doing three repairs. And I think we'll... Let's have a look here. Just need a sander and varnish for this one. Um... I think we'll do this one as our final finish off. Call it a day. Every toy maker's got to rest eventually. I want some green. I want some orange. And we want some varnish. And we need a screwdriver size 2. Oh, well, it's that durability. You just pay the extra 10. And in the long run, it'll be worth it. Fair enough. I imagine in the base game, you won't start with 95,000 to uh, enjoy. <laughs> right then, what have we got here? Let's uh, yank these bad boys off. Let's uh, yank him off. Pop his little box out. Oh, no, the box is screwed in. Okay. And this comes clean off. And that's that. Okay. You, my friend, I'm assuming your little hat comes off. Yeah. Let me take that off you, you know. Don't need a hat indoors. Uh... Arrow there. Okay. Let's give these a wash, shall we? Turn the tap on. Scrub a dub dub. Scrub a dub dub. <laughs> oh, scrub a scrub. <laughs> Just uh, giving all these a quick clean. Depending on how many toys are in the full version of this game. Um, this could actually be quite a fun game. Depending on the price as well. It's a quick sand in. You know, the drill lads don't want splinters. There, a quick rub down. And something needs printing, but it's not ready yet, is it? Paint you a nice shade of green. You're uh, not looking the best, mate. There you go. You are quicker. Watch out. I'm a wizard. I'm a wizard on the spray. 
This is what I mean by there's no actual, like, work to the tasks. It's just a uh, do what you want, pretty much. <laughs> I'm just whizzing around like a madman. Okay. What's next? The printer. Look how shiny he's looking now that we've given him a wash and some new paint. And a t-shirt and face. That may be the creepiest thing I've ever seen. We might. I don't want to return this toy. I want to burn this toy. Go over there, and we're done. Let's take a photo of our horrid creation. <laughs> Looks shinier, at least. Uh, wouldn't have gone for the face. And he has a po shirt pocket on his back. Hold up. Wait, ah, oh, we can't really see it. What's what's the dude storing in that pocket? Okay, we hand this in. Done. Easy. As always. Enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, see ya!